Hello, I'm Susan Scurry with the Marketing Team at Print Audit. Today, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a details report in Print Audit 6's Job Manager. First, open the Job Manager application by going to the Start menu, looking in All Programs, look in Print Audit 6, under the Reporting section, and open the Job Manager application. This application allows you to quickly build custom reports based on the jobs in your database. Once you design a report, you can save it to easily run over and over again in the future, or to automatically schedule and email your reports to other users. In this video, we will be creating a details report. This report provides you with detailed print job information in a sorted format, but it does not provide any totals. To run a summary or full report that shows volumes and totals, please return to the video library and review the videos for creating a summary or full report. To begin using Job Manager, start by finding jobs that you will want to report on. Print Audit allows you to search for jobs based on a combination of criteria. For reporting results to be clear and compelling, it's strongly recommended to narrow your search as much as possible because Print Audit can track thousands of print jobs per day and provide an incredible amount of print data. Narrow your search results first by using the criteria in the Find tab. First, specify the date range in which the jobs you want were printed. You can select from one of the standard date range options or select Custom and enter your own custom date range. For the purpose of this report, we will be searching for all jobs. The remainder of the search criteria are optional. You now have the option to search for a user who printed, use the drop-down to select the user you want to search on, or choose Match on Reporting Group, and the same drop-down will allow you to choose a user reporting group. If you leave this field blank, Print Audit will return jobs for all users and groups. Next, you may want to use the Printer drop-down to select a specific printer to search for. As with the previous drop-down, you can choose Match on Reporting Group and the same drop-down will allow you to choose a printer reporting group. Again, if you leave this field blank, Print Audit will find jobs for all printers. If you are using the Print Audit 6 recovery module and have defined custom fields to display in the client pop-up, then you will see those custom fields and be able to search on a specific field value for each custom field you've defined. Here we have custom fields defined for client, matter numbers, account numbers, and finishing options. Once you've completely defined your search criteria, use the Find Jobs button and Print Audit 6 will retrieve the data matching your search criteria. Now that we've retrieved the relevant data for reporting, we can build a details report. First, in the toolbar, select the Create New Report icon. The Build a Report wizard will appear. In the wizard, select the Details Only Report, verify that the number of decimal places to use in the report is correct, and select the Next button to advance to the Fields tab. Now you may select up to five fields to display in the report. These fields will be the columns of data that appear in the finished report. Today we are going to run a report that provides the date, the document name, the printer name, the number of pages, and the username. Then you can select the Next button to advance to the Sort By tab. Here you may select the columns to sort. You can select up to three columns to sort by, but remember that you must choose columns that were selected in the previous tab. For the purpose of this report, we will choose to sort by user and by the date printed. Click the Next button to advance to the Titles tab. Finally, you have the option to enter a title and subtitle which will display at the top of each page in the report. Now you may click the Build button to display the report, but if you would like to keep this report definition to rerun later, you can click Save and Build. Enter a name and description for your new report definition, choose Save, and then this report definition will be saved for future use and will display in the list of available reports the next time you run the wizard. Now that the report is created, it displays in its own tab in the Job Manager window. You can either print it to a printer or export it to PDF or HTML formats. Use the magnifying glass icon to zoom into your report. 
and use the page forward and back buttons to scroll through the different pages of your report. Now try using Job Manager to create your own custom details report. And to learn more about Print Audit 6's powerful reporting features, return to the video library and review the other helpful video demonstrations.